Aaron Bacon, great hanging out with you. You have some neat stories. You were in the green zone in Iraq. Uh, we were there at the same time in Iraq and you were uh, hunting down some pretty big guys like uh, Chemical Ali. He was called Chemical Ali because why was he called Chemical Ali? Because he used chemical weapons to launch poison gas attacks against Kurdish civilians and Shiite civilians as well. Right. He was like number five on the takedown right. list, right? The, the king of spades on the yeah. list. So. And you, uh, you're the one who helped bring him down. Yes, he had been, uh, his compound in Basra had been bombed and he had essentially been marked off the list as KIA, killed in action, and uh, that was in March during the invasion, but by August I was able to figure out where he was really hiding, that he was alive and well in North Baghdad, and we were able to go out and get him. Awesome. But uh, we heard on the news that, you know, as we know, we heard on the news on BBC, CNN, everywhere that he was killed in a bombing, but yeah. you were counterintelligence and you knew better. That's right. They found a body with his uniform on it, but by talking to locals and finding out what they had seen, including that his driver was picking up ladies for him to accompany him as they had when he was known to be alive and well, we were able to follow the driver back to his safe house and find him. So that's strange. He was uh, picking up ladies after he was <laughs> bombed and killed. Yeah. That's unusual. So someone took his uniform and put it on him. Yeah. And he faked his own death, but you guys were their incredible counterintelligence able to catch that. Yep, we were able to capture him and they uh, hanged him back in January of 2010 for crimes against humanity. Great, okay. And then you suffered an injury as well and you've been going through some medical struggles too. And um, Correct. Your story is inspiring, especially a lot of veterans out there who are struggling and even the healthcare providers should hear this because there's probably ways they can help. Certainly because of my combat experience, I ended up being uh, diagnosed with PTSD. And after I got out of the military, the, I was eventually identified that I had some minor, a minor uh, traumatic brain injury as, uh, through the VA healthcare system. Uh, and also, uh, yeah, I suffered some compression fractures from an accident I had uh, falling off a truck while on active duty in mm -hmm. Iraq. And um, it as well as some, you know, injuries to my ankles during training and things like that. So it was, uh, there's quite a few things that kind of came together as well as some genetic disorders that I just naturally have that cause blindness in one of my eyes. Yeah, wow, wow. And so you served our country, you came back and you went to get help at, with the military. And this is, you know, our VA system is excellent and they yep. have great care, but there are ways it can be improved and you know I think the VA will get there they'll improve it you know this is probably the first war where we've had such a high survival rate that they're actually making yeah. it back to the VA yeah. which is great because that didn't happen in the past but um, what were the struggles you faced the main struggle I faced and again I, I I'm not anti VA I think the VA does a lot of good for a lot of veterans um, I think the main opportunity for improvement is the transitional pro processes to get started with your enrollment because since so much is still done on paper in the VA I found myself submitting and resubmitting and resubmitting the same paperwork over and over again because it would get lost or misplaced there were no digital copies or even copies made and so if the veteran doesn't take the initiative to make copies of his military records uh, 201 file medical records and even the paperwork being turned into the VA it can cause a lot of delays. I ended up having to wait three and a half years before I was finally fully integrated into the system and acknowledged uh, along with my dependents for my uh, disability rating. So great system, but uh, if it takes three and a half years to get in because of paperwork issues, that's a problem. Precisely. And maybe in the meantime, there are physicians who can, or other providers who can help pick up that slack in between if they want to help a veteran such as yourself who yeah that would be great so the battle well. continues yeah, so yeah so the battle continues for our veterans and, uh, and thanks uh, for everything you've done for our country and uh, you're an inspiration to us all thank you